What is up, Bodywood Exercise fans? It's a nice and kinda peaceful morning here in Northern Greece. I'm about to train, and today I've got a jump rope and calisthenics ladder workout for you. If you're new to Bodywood Muscle, this is a simple calisthenics approach to getting strong and lean over 30, 40, and 50. We also have a free community. There's a link in the top and comment below. A lot of helpful resources over there, so make sure you check that out, subscribe, and like this video so we can get started. To get started, we're going to need a jump rope. I'm using a weighted one pound jump rope from Cross Rope here. You know, if you want to make the workout a bit tougher, you can use a weighted rope, but uh, if you don't have one, it doesn't really matter. As long as you can find a rope that you can use to simply skip rope, you're good. And we'll be pairing our jump rope sets with three calisthenic exercises. The key idea here is that each exercise is a little bit easier than the previous one. So for example, I'm starting with pull-ups. Next, I'll be moving on to dips. So I can do a little bit more dips uh, regarding to my pull-ups and I'll be finishing off with push-ups. Again, I can do more push-ups than I can do dips. Our first round starts with jumping rope and our hardest calisthenic exercise, in this case, chest to bar or chest to ring pull-ups uh, as I'm doing here. We start with 10 reps for our jumping rope and we'll be adding 10 reps at a time. For our calisthenics exercise, you can start with one rep and add one rep at a time. Or if you're a bit more advanced or if you want to make the workout finish a bit faster, you can add two reps at a time as I'm doing here. Between exercises, there's no rest really. You're just transitioning from one exercise to the other. So maybe a few seconds. I managed to go up to eight chest to ring pull-ups, which means that I did 40 jump rope skips during that last round. Uh, you know, that's the point I hit technical failure. When that happens, what you want to do is to get a few minutes of rest. You can either jog for three minutes as I did or walk for one and a half to two minutes, get as much recovery as you can and repeat that last set. So, you know, try to get again, uh, in my case, eight pull-ups or maybe a bit more if you can get nine or 10, even better. After that, you can take about a minute or maximum two minutes to uh, rest as you're adjusting the rings, uh, in my case. And uh, we move on with our second exercise, which is a little bit easier than our first. So we can continue from the same point where we left. So uh, my last set was eight pull-ups, which means I'll be moving on to 10 chest dips. Right after that, I also continue with my jump rope sets um, just where I left. So uh, my previous set was 40 reps. This means that I'll be doing 50 reps here. Moving on to 12 dips and 60 jump rope skips, going all the way up the ladder until you hit again technical failure. I managed to go up to 14 gymnastic ring chest dips. After that, you take again a big resting period. You can either uh, jog as I'm doing for three minutes or walk around for about two minutes and you try to repeat that last set, you know, see if you can top it. Uh, in this case, I did add another two reps. So I managed to do 16 gymnastic ring chest dips. Finally, finishing off with our last exercise. Here, you want to try to get your max reps, um, as many as you can with perfect form. Uh, I managed to go up to 22 push-ups, I think, or 23, something like that. That's the workout, it takes more or less 20 minutes of your time, but it really annihilates your upper body. Also great for your cardiovascular conditioning, great for your calves, you got all that jumping rope in there. Uh, don't forget to join our over 30, 40, and 50 free calisthenics community. You'll find all kinds of free resources in there. There's a link in the top pin comment below. If you have any other questions, make sure 
you leave them again in the comment section. Like this video, subscribe, and I'll next time. Keep on training.